Hey boys and girls, back once again. I'm gonna give you a longer story here of how it all came to be with this gambling crap. Um, I used to be a poker player, been playing poker all my life. And the picture I have in this video is uh, one of the times I hit a big jackpot. It was a uh, 3,000 something jackpot at the end of it. And uh, that just got me into like this big rabbit hole for the past three years with the slots and the video poker and, and even poker itself. You know, it's just. I've come to find out that no matter what happens, it's all not worth it. It doesn't matter how much I win, it's not worth it. It's not worth going to the casinos, giving your hard-earned money over there. I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. So what I did recently was I uh, challenged myself to 40 days. 40 days seems to be the magic norm, uh, number that's always what I hear about. If you can survive 40 days without gambling, you're pretty much on your way. So getting close, December 5th, 2017 is uh, day 40. So um, one shocking thing that I thought I would never have is money in my pocket. Soon as I, it wasn't as soon, but like the second week into it, you know, I have to come up with different ma ways to make extra money now. I have to be creative, so I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube on how to make money online, how to flip stuff, how to sell, how to invest. And it's pretty fun. But uh, what I found out was, you know, now I always have money in my pocket. It doesn't matter how little it is, how big it is, at least I have money in my pocket. When I was uh, gambling, as soon as that paycheck came, payday came, next day, look for it. My, my balance was at zero, almost always. If I won, then I got away with the money for a while, but then I would just give it back. Eventually, I would always give it back. It doesn't matter, you know. Then I play poker. Poker is a little bit more disciplined, and, and you know, I had a lot of competition here. Uh, a lot of tough players so now what I do is uh, I just play poker in local bars you know I just treat it as a hobby you know what it was meant to be and uh, I actually been making more money because in a lot of the local bars there's poker that they actually have cash prizes and I've won a couple of those with my experience playing at casinos uh, last tournament I played uh, it was six tables, which was a total of 60 people. I took fourth place, which was like 25 bucks, and then I took another one, with, which was more. But I didn't put anything at risk, which was awesome. You know, uh, just getting money back, not putting it at risk, and if I invest in something, it's just amazing to have that uh, money not being donated to just machines like basically these are machines that are built to beat you and these machines nine out of ten times they're gonna win those spins so in the long run they'll always win if you know there's been plenty of times that I've won big and what did I do give it all back the same day because I didn't run for it like what kind of life is that if you don't run for it as soon as you win it then they might get it back doesn't that sound shady to you like, come on. So, I've been trying to clean my act and I have a better quality of life. Everything's a lot more fun, a lot more interesting. The filter's been taken off. So, I hope you do the same. The things that, you know, if you're going to taper off of gambling at the casino, one thing I found out, I bought a gamble box. They call it a gamble box. I bought it on eBay. I'm not connected to the owner of it, but it saved my ass a lot of times. It's a little safe you put in your pocket. It comes with a key. I leave the key at home. Well, I used to. I try not to do that stuff anymore. Leave the key at home. Anytime I won anything that I considered uh, made me happy on any machine, I would 
run to the bathroom, roll that money up and squish it into that, that uh, safe. And then when I got home, I would unlock the box and count how much I made. So that was one way of keeping safe in the casino. Another way is going with someone else, you know. But once you're at my stage of, of losing tons and tons of money, it doesn't matter who you go with you'll still end up giving it back or losing it all, sneaking away from your friends, you know. Sometimes your friends are worse than you. So my my recommendation is not to even bother going to a casino. You know, when you have an addictive personality like me, if I drink one beer, I have to have a thousand. If I have uh, one cookie that I really like, I have to have the whole box. Stuff like that, you know. And I'm not one of these guys that looks like a crackhead out there. I'm just a regular guy. It's just, I, I, I'm weak, you know? I, I'm just a weak person. That's my personality. If I have one beer, I better pre be prepared because that's going to change to whiskey, rum, and 10 drinks later. If I have one chocolate, forget it. The whole bag is mine. So, you know, I just try to limit myself and not do stuff like that. You know, the, the, the major key I, find out, I found out about this kind of stuff is not starting at all. So if you reach a break and, uh, and you're able to come back to reality, just don't start. Don't start one chip. Who eats one potato chip? Don't do it. So that's my lesson for today. I hope you find yourself well. I hope I can help you. You know, some of my videos are boring to a lot of people, but I'm just trying to help. All right, peace out. Give me good news. Follow me.